and today I'm going to be making my version of a beef rendang. Beef rendang is a Malaysian Indonesian beef curry. For a beef rendang you need to take 500 grams of boneless beef and cut it into bite sized pieces just like that. These are the spices that I'm going to be using today. The first thing I'm going to do is blend uh, spices that are going to be sauteed in oil. I'm going to be blending one onion, an inch long ginger piece, four to five cloves of garlic, six pieces of de-seeded dried red chili balls, a two inch piece of lemongrass that I've chopped up into small pieces right there, and six lime leaves. Add a bit of water to this and let's blend away. And that has been blended roughly. You don't have to pulverize it. This is good enough for a paste for rendang. In the meantime, I've taken a wok and I've added vegetable oil and one tablespoon of sesame oil. I've mixed that. And in a plate, I have set aside one star anise, two cardamoms, two three cloves, and two sticks of cinnamon. I'm going to be sorting that in this oil. As soon as that starts leaving a lovely smell, I shall be adding in this paste. And that's starting to smell really good. I'm going to be adding the masala. The onion paste has browned and I'm going to be adding the beef right now. I'm going to cook this on high fire till it leaves a little bit of water. The water will take a little while to dry up and this is all the liquid the beef has left. Uh, I haven't added anything. As you know that I'm waiting to saute this really well and then I'm going to boil it down some more later. And so I'm going to be adding the next ingredient. This is one teaspoon of palm sugar. It's a bit stronger than regular and brown sugar. It reminds me of uh, gur. So if you guys want to uh, start with less, do that. And then you can always increase it to one teaspoon. It all depends on how sweet you like this beef. I'm also going to season this with salt. And while I wait for the water to evaporate, I just wanted to show you that I've taken one cup of Santa and coconut powder. And that's one cup and I'm going to be adding a tamarind water to this. Basically what I did was I took that much amount of tamarind pulp and I boiled half a mug of water, added that and waited for it to cool. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put this through a sieve. Mix that well. And the beef is fried nicely. There was no liquid left in that. I've added the coconut and the tamarind paste. I'm going to stir this well. Let it boil and then I shall tell you what to do next. I'm adding one tomato in for color. Now I don't see any other Malaysians do that in their recipe. So this is something you may want to, to skip completely. To the beef mixture. And I'm going to cover this and cook this on slow fire for at least 15 to 20 minutes. I have a feeling the beef is nearly done anyway. This is smelling really good. Now I have to cook this a bit more. So what I've done is the bowl that I've mixed the tamarind and the coconut powder in, I just added some more boiling water to that so as to not waste anything. I'm going to be adding this. I've lifted the lid and I've dried up the liquid. I've added three or four green chilies. I'm just going to be garnishing this with a little bit of cut up coriander. And this is more or less ready guys, so it was quite an easy recipe. I hope you make this beef rendang soon.